And here's the app. So I'm going to open it up. And up here is video projects. And this will bring me to new project. Click on that. Name your video. I will call this assignment demo. Assignment film edit demo. And then because I've got no films, I need to add some clips and some photos. So I'll add from this PC. I've put all my clips in a separate folder. So I can go straight to the folder and know I'm only going to use these clips. So that's my first piece of advice is that the more organized you are, the less frustrating this is going to be. I'm going to grab them all and add them in. I click on my mouse once and then the second time I hold it, then I click twice on open and it will add all those files in. So nice and organized. I know where I'm going to get my files from. I don't have to go adding all over the computer as I go. I'm going to add them now. It will take a while because it's adding film. What I need to do now, I've got all these options here with I've got some photos, the arrows have got the films. So uh, I've got my storyboard here, but what the first thing I want to do is add a title card text. 15 to Irish sport horse, six year old gelding, X, oops, X show jumper, because that, let's say that's relevant to what I'm going to explain. You can change the appearance of this by just scrolling down mm. and deciding. So I would pick the, the one that's easiest to read. And I know it's none of those. So you can experiment with those. That's no good. That's quite good. And you can also adjust here how long the words are going to appear for. So you can preview it by using this. So you can see the words appear for this length of time and not for this length of time. So I want the words to appear for the duration of that slide. And three seconds is not long enough, so I can change that. So let's go for done and then stay on here. So let's make the duration. We can do seven seconds or I can change it to 10 seconds if I want to. So we'll leave it for 10 seconds because we want people to read it. And also I can go back and add on there just by going to text and using the uh, box up here I can add more words if I want to later and go to done. Okay so now we want to put some film in and I would suggest that we start with the rider so let's bring her down here and Notice that there's a little bar here that's going to change. So when I'm on this one, there's a green bar here. When I'm on this one, it's here. If I want to watch my edit again, and I can see she's on for three seconds and this one's 10 seconds. Okay, let me just run that again just to check it. So keep checking what you're doing. So now we've got 10 seconds and then we'll have three seconds of our rider, which is obviously not enough. So I'm going to go back and duration, let's make it 10 seconds again. Is this, this seems to be for pictures, not film. Here's where you change the background color. So don't make it too gaudy. Blue is quite safe. So that's how you change the color. You just come back up here to background, done. 
when you see this up here and yeah. undo so i can undo what i've just done wrong and i want to get back yeah. to the writing okay i've gone a step too far because i've lost her so i can go and again and just redo okay so now i'm back to square one so if you get in a muddle you can undo your edits and go back to them again and redo them if you've gone too far now suddenly i've the filters have arrived so let me just show you that if i want to change the color of this because i want to make it clearer I can use these so classic is pretty good just get it to the color that you want it or that looks better for your use so that you can see her clearly uh, that's a little bit too much so I think the classic is probably the best one or the adventure because it looks it brings a bit more color in so we'll go for that and going our oh, motion is where we can zoom in a little but not much so let's try that center no it's already centered there and we can make her a bit closer i'm not sure if it works again no it's only one setting but at least it brings it through to the foreground a little bit more so I'll just leave it at that. Uh, so let's change the duration from three seconds to 10. And text. So this, this remembers that I used classic before. So I'm just gonna say here what the most relevant thing about this rider. So if you see, you can change where the text arrives. That's no good, obviously. That is no good because I cannot see the protraction. Uh, that's no good. This is perfect. I really like this at the bottom of the screen. And I suggest you standardise as much as possible. I know if you're talking about the feet, and you want to put this at the bottom of a film or picture then you can't in which case you might put it at the top but try to stay as standardized as you can and i'm going to slide this along so we're going to give the viewer 10 seconds to look at this so they don't have to keep pausing so give them a reasonable amount of time and she does have some protraction there shall i call it moderate or mild i'm going to call it moderate because i think that's a bit more pronounced so i'm happy with that that's done but i want to say something else about her now i'm going to bring this in again here because i now want to say very good place of rib cage into pelvis. I'm just going to put a duration of 10 okay. seconds in, then yeah. I'm done. There. Uh, let's just test our writing now. Make sure it can be read comfortably, and nothing's more annoying than words flying off the screen. Okay, so I'd have to go back and fix the text because it doesn't appear for long enough and oh yes there it is it goes there and then i would say let's do trot up i'm now going to trim it split it i trim it from there because i've got a clear view of this horse here so if you select trim is there the facility on this to say crop out the outsides 
of that and just then zoom in on the horse and the handler? No, not in this programme that I know of. It's very, very, very basic. Try to get your zooming if you can get it live unfortunately in this one we can't done and again we do so much on phones but it's the camcorders that can do the zooming i get in a terrible muddle with zooming on my phone because sometimes it doesn't do it so camcorders best so this i can check now it's going to start here this incidentally shows you how much film i've got in the timeline and I'm at the point of 30 seconds, 10, 20, 30. This is the start of this next bit. If I want to check it, because I'm a checkaholic, let's check that. So I've got 10 seconds of this. Then it's going to go into the horse walking. Marvellous. So that's as much as I need of that if I'm going to get a view of the horse walking and the turn is interesting to us and we've got to wait till she's lined this horse up straight and then you'll see something about the feet which you would comment on so what the split means is that i'm going to divide this film into two okay so what you'll see now is that I've now got two of the same film. And I'm going to want to trim this next part of the film. So again, if I get confused about where I am, just play it again. Then you'll see this green line coming in. And it's moved to the rest of the film. I might want to now do another trim of this film. So let's go to trim again. Now I want to get him trotting. Let's just play that rather than move it along. And stop there now this is going to give me a really good view of those feet so just bring it to here then start it again oh that stopped that was an edit in the original film never mind we'll just show him turning i would now check what i've got okay so let's just run it and check it Because very easy to get muddled with this. Well, it is for me at my age. So. <laughs> so check what you're doing. And make it a, a sort of a, a rough, basic first edit is what I do, a first draft. You can always go back and trim it again. So splitting preserves the rest of the film. Trimming just starts and cuts a bit off at the beginning. So we can put some text on our film. Uh, so let's say, for example, restricted left rein. I would rather say compared with right, because what's restricted on one horse might not be another and you're looking side to side. So just say that, for example, and again, it's picked up that I'm, I'm using this again. So let's have a look at that. There we go. So let's go back to text on that again, because it didn't appear for long enough. And for this, yeah, do I, I might only want it to go halfway. So... We'll leave it at that. And let's just run it again. Make sure our text fits. So you're warning me that the left rein is restricted or to look at the left rein. Oh, 
oh, it's right on this. But anyway, I knew it was stiff one way. Yeah, maybe this this appeared for a bit too long. And I will split it there. As you notice, it will divide it into two clips and that extra clip will now appear here and I will trim it because I want to show the horse backing up. So I've got too much text here, so I'm going to have to get rid of the text, but never mind that for a moment. So I want this to start here. Again, I'm only trimming it for the beginning. Done. And I will now go to text on that clip and I can just delete it. Every time I split it, I preserve the rest of the film because I haven't looked at it yet. I would say for your photos, you can manipulate them in Earthen View first because you're not going to be able to do it on here. Your film, to zoom in, you might play it on your TV and then zoom in with your whatever camera you used but then again you don't get good quality but it might be good enough if you're desperate <laughs> you can zoom in on your original film that is playing what i forgot to do was to say well i'm going to take a look at the horse before i trot it up again you'll want to go into the duration you might want 15 seconds on a profile so that you could say in your text, stands under, in front. I'm going to say atrophy. And again, this is where I say don't go mental with your terminology because you've got to get me to the horse from here back to the horse pretty quickly. So atrophy in saddle region will fit better in this than atrophy in the caudal thoracics. Yeah. Camped under in front. That's fine. Done. Trying to be concise because it's film. I will then send off the horse for the gait analysis. Here, I know that I can check again, yeah, that the horse is going to rein back. Now, that I would possibly leave in because I'm giving you some information about him, that he's rather stiff behind. So I'll leave it in for now. And you can see he's a bit of a disaster with this. I might cut it later, but I'll leave it for now. So this obviously, I don't need this, so I can split it here. Done. And then I can delete it. I'm just going to check that I'm deleting the right film. And I will be because the green is here. This is what I'm watching. And delete it. I will just use this, but always go back and check. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's gone to the beginning. We don't want that. I just want to check this. So pass it on. Yeah, he's going to rain back. And that becomes the end of our film. So I just wanted you to notice the, the volume here. So adjust volume. If you don't want to hear yourself in the background, just take that down. I think it's all or nothing. Either you leave it in or you don't because I'm showing you a non-narrated film. 
I'm showing you a film which says what I want you to know I'm going to put on the screen. If you've said something as the horse moves away, then split it and then take the volume down on the portion of the film that you don't want us to hear. Then just carry on with the volume on the next bit. Okay, so let yeah. me show you that. That's got no volume. And this one's got it back. But I do like to hear these footfalls because you might have commented that it's landing on one foot uh, heavier than another. But not too much chat in there or obvious stuff that needs editing. I would say at this point now, I've got a two minute 31 film and I've done the trot up. Uh, obviously, I'm going to trim this film. No, will it let me trim? OK, I'd want to just trim off that little bit, but I won't do it here. I would save this. So I would I wouldn't finish the video. Uh, I would. I would back up the project. So I'm going to choose a backup location. Now I'm going to put it where my put where I put my clips earlier. So I'm going to put it in my single file that's totally dedicated to this in there. And I'm going to say it's assign assignment film edit demo. Uh, I'm going to call it one. So it's going to back up into there. I might also back it up onto a memory card. You cannot trust your computers. You can't trust your brain because it will play tricks with you and things disappear. You might not find them. So you've got to be very, very well organized. I'd say back up every two minutes of film. Otherwise, you'll just tear your hair out if it just loses it. Ah, here we are. Are you going to let me continue now? Uh, so you'll notice as well, I know it did, I did it a little bit earlier, but I can move film around. So all I'm doing is tap on it twice and hold it, then move it. Keep your hands on that. So that's something you can do. I might want to, uh, for example, I might want to put a photo in there. I might split it and say, well, I want to put a photo in there. OK, let me delete her because I didn't mean for her to come as well. That was a right click that I did and you get these options. Edit. I'm just going to, oh, resize. I'm going to undo that. You can rotate it. So you've got to rotate it each time till you get the right one. Click, right click. The other interesting thing I see is cut photo. So I, let me see if I can, oh, cut photo. Oh, cut means delete. So don't worry about that. So I'm going to undo that and have it again. reason I split so that I can isolate the clip as I go along and get rid of or trim the bits that I don't want to use then okay. go back to the film again but I can always go back to the film if I'm so confused and bring it in again from the beginning so I'll undo that we don't need music finish video export now when you export it you are exporting your project so uh, it's going to ask me where do you want to put it right so yeah. where do you think i want to put it back in your clips <laughs> back in your special folder here here 
export it there. So uh, I would say call it export. Now that was our earlier one. So you've got a new save, call it something else. Put in today's date because that's an important one because you'll have so many clips that you won't know what you've done and you have to go through them again. So this is what I mean by organisation. Save it exactly as you would want it as a memory prompt. I'm not going to export it now, but all it's doing is it's going to take this project and save it. Now, I suggest you do that and export it because I would advise you to do a sequence. So, for example, all of the trot up gait analysis, because what you can do with that saved film is drop it in again. You can put four or five sequences together. Don't make a 15 minute edit. Make five times three. I want a screenshot. Let's say he places this hoof uh, more to the midline compared with the left. I want to drop a picture in here of that. So screenshot, you should have that. Uh, snipping tool but it, it's in every windows program so you go to new and then yeah here it is you can see how it allows me to isolate a part of that shot and then i say file save as what do you think? It's going there. <laughs> Where I put them, there. And there. So I'm going to call that screenshot walk away hoof placement. Okay. And get rid of it. Then I'm going to add it to my library. And it automatically goes to where I've put it because it knows I'm starting to save here. And look, there it is. I can make my own photos. I'm now going to bring this in here. Now, that's not bad. I know it's moving. It's not perfect. And I took it from a very small area, but I can see what I'm there describing. Is. I'm going to put a bit of text in there. Right. Hoof placement. Uh, more medial. OK. And done. And yeah, and it's appearing for the whole lot. Ah, but look. Ha. Huh. So what I'm going to do is put it up here and it's not. Uh. So, yeah, that's perfect. So you do that by fiddling around down here. You can also have it on the right if you want. OK, we'll go back to that again. So that's done. Oh, to resize it. Uh, let's it's right click yeah resize let's see what happens when we remove the black bars no it doesn't work for that mm -hmm. so redo up here if I wanted a, a, a screenshot from a whole screen just play a film and find this snipping tool you can find it here if you just put in snip and then open. It was a free program and it was loaded into my computer in Windows. And I use that so much you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> but it's basically make your own photos. And in fact, a lot of the time I will run a little film on the horse if I want to take a photo of it and then just screenshot it rather than fiddle around trying to get the perfect shot I'll get it within a film sequence or a film clip one more thing this you are going to want to do definitely so I've selected this film speed so click on the film now let's say speed 
and we can slow it right down. I tend to slow it, if that's one, I tend to slow to about 25 or 30%. Okay, and then play it, but you might want to split it to do that. Oh, come out of that. Yes, let me run it. There you go. Now, then I might have to split that film uh, or I'll split it. So this is my second one. And I would then have to select speed and make it normal. And that will make it normal for the whole clip. The more edits you do, the more potentially confused you can get. Can you see this slider down here will take you back? And I think my slow-mo's because it doesn't tell you that you've slow mode it. Uh, yeah, I, I recognise it as being here. You saw the export being processed. Expect it to take as long as the film itself or even longer to process it. So if it's a two minute film, it could take two, three, four, five minutes to process. It's not a quick thing. Here's the one I made earlier. I'm going to put it on a memory card copy to the memory card so that I can start work tomorrow and if I lose it I've still got the memory card of the first part that I've done